Hey guys, welcome to the first video of the 2020-2021 school year. And because things are definitely a little strange in 2020, uh, I'm currently sitting in my uh, room in my house with my laptop balanced on a foosball table. So like I said, somehow in 2020, that makes sense. So the first thing you're going to do to complete this project is we're going to start and open up Microsoft Teams. You're going to slide down and find the correct team. And out of the three tabs, you'll find this in the Assignments tab. And we're going to view My Digital Locker. So we're going to view Assignment. Let me pull up the student view. So when yours opens, keep in mind, uh, being the teacher, my Teams app looks a little different than yours, but yours should look very similar to this. Uh, it gives you the title that you'll see in focus for your grade of my digital locker. It will give you the due date of Friday, August 28th. Um, I will, of course, accept any and all late assignments. Uh, if you're not able to complete it on Friday, You've got the weekend to get it to me. Uh, that due date kind of lets you know that this should be about a two-day project. So you've got Thursday the 27th and Friday the 28th to work on it and finish that up. This is going to be graded. It's going to be worth 100 points. And this note here tells you, please watch the YouTube video, which I'm still creating, in order to understand what's happening. Because I am the teacher, I do not have a turn in button, but when you're done with this assignment, the turn in button should be over here somewhere. So we're going to hover over these three dots. And I want you to open in PowerPoint online. Now, with computers, there's multiple different ways to get things done. If I demonstrate something and you like to do it a different way and it works, go for it. Um, there's no right or wrong as far as how you get the computer to do what it is you want it to do. So what's going to open up is this PowerPoint and the first page is kind of uh, the description of the project. And we'll come back to that in a second. As you scroll down on the left-hand side, you're going to see all these bright, colorful school lockers. And then the last several slides, there's subjects, careers, hobbies, sports, and decor. And this is all the clip art that you are going to copy and paste into one of these lockers that will help me kind of get an idea for who you are. Um, so I have three face-to-face -face brick and mortar classes this year. And then I also have my three virtual uh, Duval homeroom students. And I want to make sure I'm, I'm uh, learning mu as much about you guys as possible. So one thing to note on the directions page, right here, it's going to tell you that I would like two images from each of the categories. So the different categories are your favorite school subject, careers and vocational goals, jobs you'd like to have in the future, favorite hobbies and sports. So if I scroll down, hobbies and sports are actually on two different slides, but here it's all kind of combined. And then decor. These are just kind of little things to add to it. So two images from each of these four. And then of course it tells you when you're done, you're gonna turn it in. So how are we gonna do this? So the first thing to do is to decide which locker you're gonna use. Me, I'm gonna use this bright green color. So I'm gonna go up here to the, the subjects and Let's say I decide I want to select science, All right? So I need to get the science textbook from here to my locker. So there's a couple of different ways you could do this. 
but the way I'm going to suggest is that we're going to select the item by clicking on it. And you can't see this, but I'd like you to get in the habit when you copy something. Uh, in the past, you may have hit right click and gone down and hit copy. And then you go to where you want to go and then you right click and you hit paste. I want you to learn the shortcut to do that. So if you look at your keyboard, with one finger, you're just going to hold down the control button. It'll say CTRL, that's short for control. And then we're going to hit the letter C for copy. We're going to go back to that locker. And now we need to paste this. So once again, with one finger, you're going to hold down control. And then one time, you're going to press the letter V. And there's your science book. Now, if you make a mistake and hit that V a couple of times, you're going to get multiple science books. All right? We've got three books in there, and we only needed one. So how do we get rid of that if we made a mistake? Highlight it. Right-hand corner of your keyboard, hit Delete, and it will go away. All right? So I would like to take this science book and drop it down into this area. So I'm going to bring it all the way down. There we go. So I'm going to bounce back. And what else could we grab? Let's grab a history book. So once again, Control C. Go back here and Control V. Now this book, I'm going to Put it right in this area right here. So I'm going to grab this little guy right here and I'm going to left click and drag until he's kind of in the right position. There we go. That works for me. So that's it. There's my two first subjects. I know I'd go on to the careers. So Maybe I'm sad that summer is over and I'd like to be a lifeguard. So I'm going to select the lifeguard object. I go up here. So I hit control C and now I'm going to hit control V. And again, I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to click and drag. I'm going to throw it up there. All right. And if I want to make it a little larger, I can stretch it. I don't want to make it a little smaller, right? And that's just by grabbing these little points on the edge here, okay? So, I think that gives you the idea for this, but let's say you want to add an actual picture, something from the internet, or maybe something a little more personal. So, we're going to open a new tab, and... I'm going to search a Bob Ross photo. And that right there looks good to me. So there's a couple of different ways you can get this into your PowerPoint. Again, you if you like to do it a different way, go for it. All right? But for those of you that like to right click, you can right click on the object and you can go down here to copy. We're going to go back to our PowerPoint. I'm going to click in the slide here. And then once again, I'm going to hit Control and V. And there's Bob. He's going to show up. Maybe we're going to make a smaller poster. Like Bob says, there's no, no mistakes, just happy little accidents. So, hey, that looks good enough to me. All right. Now, for some of you that are maybe a little more advanced, uh, that understand how to move objects in front of other objects, uh, you can work on those things. But for this kind of introduction, uh, that is definitely not required. I will gladly give you extra credit points if you are able to get a picture from the Internet into your locker. So let's go back up to the top and find out how you're going to get 100 on this thing. So 
I keep going back to this, you're going to need two images from these categories. Okay. Uh, where it says favorite hobbies or sports, I'll take either two hobbies, two sports, one of each. Um, if you can't decide and you put more than two in there, that'll be fine. And so that will get you 100 points. And if you are able to get an image off the internet and save it and paste it in there, I will give you some extra credit on this project. So at this point, you decide you're done with it. You've met all the requirements. This is where it's a little difficult to demonstrate to you um, because it saves automatically online as Digital Locker and it shows it's saved. We can go ahead and close that out. So that, uh, let's say I go back to this now. I think maybe, well, maybe I didn't finish it. Let me take another look. You can open it back up. And it should load with our changes saved. Yep, there we go. So there's the locker. So once you're done with it, you can, like I said, close it. And I'm sorry that mine looks different than yours. Uh, but over in this area somewhere should be the turn in button. All right. So, um, if you have any questions at any point, you can always pause the video, go back and watch what I did and try it for yourself. But I think this is hopefully a fun, easy way to kind of get to know uh, all of you students out there, especially my virtual students that I haven't had the opportunity to meet yet. All right, guys, take care. See you next time.